Hello, everyone. And welcome to the freaking weekend. It has been a week. I worked all five days this week, and I feel like, and don't ever say anything to me about this, but I feel like I got hit by a bus. Mm. To those that work a normal five-day mm, week. That must suck. It was nice, though. It was really nice. To be I made hit by a bus. Oh, I shouldn't use that expression. I'm sorry. Because you actually <laughs> did get hit by a bus. Cue, like, flashbacks in my mind. What's that, Screaming like, that crying. sad gray, like, YouTube filter with that, like, duh, duh, duh. Yeah. Well, I think we need a compilation, an edited compilation of Ryan every single week saying, it's been a week. Because I week. think we've heard that every single it's week. It's been a week. Speaking of the week, this week covers the 18th through the 24th. So this sales week was actually pretty good. At mm -hmm. least on Posh. I don't know. I had some sales on, like, almost every other platform, but the other platforms weren't, like, crazy or anything. Yeah. I had a few Depop sales, but they really weren't anything, like, of note. I think I haven't had a Depop one. I've had, like, yeah. one Depop each week. My Depop, I, like, I feel like I've been saying I'm starting to try to even my time out a little bit between, like, Depop and Poshmark, and I think, like, this is paying off for it's me, like, it. putting some effort back into my Poshmark closet because I feel like she was kind of... Yeah. She's got herself in there for a little bit. Well, I think you fully stocked a good, solid Depop's Depop good. closet. She's fine. And, yeah, it can be She's kind good. of, like, on the back burner, just, like, taking care of itself now. We're good. Yeah, isn't that right, Green m, &M? <laughs> she, goes, she says, I don't know. <laughs> And I chose a gold. I chose gold metallic. Not only because it's a trend, but because my golden birthday is tomorrow. So. Yeah. Also, everybody say oh, happy yeah. birthday to Jack. No, not happy birthday no, not to necessary. you. So if this video is just slightly shorter than other What's Old Saturdays, as in normally they're like 35 minutes and this one's like 26 or something, it's because we're kind of trying to move a little quicker just because mm -hmm. we do have some birthday stuff happening today. We have some today. festivities happening today. Yeah. Meeting so, some family, doing some fun activities. Yeah. Yes. So, so we will jump right into it. Really quick, really quick. This week coming up, we have 10 Bolo dress brands. We are kicking off the spring <sighs> Bolo list, and we're starting off with dresses, how fitting for the season. Also, I just feel like that's going to really put everyone mentally in spring. Seeing all those, like, flowy floral yes. fabrics yeah. is going to just... <sighs> um, and then the Valentines get a bonus eight dress Bolo list yes. on Wednesday, and then Thursday we are, fingers crossed, hoping for a two-person bins haul, but no longer are we going to promise it, because we never know when Ryan's going to need to substitute teach. That's very true. But we That's hope true. we have it like right now planned to both go, but <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Somebody either way gonna have a sick kid or is going to get either bored. Either way it'll be work. it'll be a haul though. And then last week we had the R&D and I hope everybody loved the R&D. It seemed like from the comments everybody loved it. We had a blast I love as usual. Love it was so oh. much fun to find all the trends. It's like much more fun than doing the actual trend report for mm -hmm. us because the trend report's like research. Yeah, it's and a little then, intense. And then it's the like R&D we just like run around and like <laughs> look, look. <laughs> I feel like this time though we didn't see as many as I feel like we normally do. Well, we didn't like see Some every of the ones single that we one about. everywhere. Yeah, it was it. it was very weird. Somebody made a comment about that, like how it was interesting to see the contrast of like the regular things <laughs> sold to people, people versus like what runways yeah, are trying to sell exactly to people. Though. And I feel yeah. like in past ones we've done, a lot more of the runway trends have like trickled yeah, down they to have. us pleb folk. It's a little more like niche, I guess. Mm -hmm. Before we jump into our sales though, we would like to highlight the Valentine VIP of the week. Yes, and this we week would. it is Tori. So Tori. hello Tori and thank you for being a Valentine. Her closet is the Pretty Alibi. Ooh, and she will be the first like link below, of course. This is Tori's closet right here. Okay. She has a new brand to me called Journey Collection that I'm going to have to look into. $70 boots. Cute pair of boots, yeah. Yes. Good to know. So everybody please go say hi to Tori in her comments on her Meet the Pod or on her items. Share some of her Share things. some stuff. Give some likes if Absolutely. anything catches your attention. And thank you once again to Tori for being a Valentine and thank you to all of our Valentines. And one more really quick thing before we jump into our sales as well is we have somebody to thank. So yes, this is do. actually yeah. our one item from the P.O. Box this week and it came in the form of a card. Aww. And not just a card card. It had a very generous, very kind gift card inside. Yes. And this is from Home Depot. It's from A and B Thrifting. So bless them. Thank you. We thank you. You guys are so, you person or you guys are so freaking sweet. I am 
nearly certain they purchased one or two things from our Amazon house list. Mm -hmm. So they are so kind and did. so generous. And we really, really appreciate you guys. You are so sweet. And I keep yeah. saying it like there's multiple people. And again, I don't know if there it are. Be. But I was like fighting Ryan with like, I want to use this to get one of the like 12 foot monsters this Halloween at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. That's where like the skeleton comes yeah. from and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And Ryan was like, but we just got a house. Let's get something a little more like practical. We bought our patio so we're putting furniture. This, yeah, we put this towards Yay. outdoor patio furniture. So now we're gonna have a whole set because we have a big like paved patio outside. Yes. So A and B oh, thrifting. It's gonna be so nice. We love you and we really appreciate that. That was like super. We appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> that was so yeah. sweet of you. Thank you <sighs> so so much. I know. So we will be able to beautifully yes. enjoy our deck at some point, with our new at some five point, piece You guys patio will set. all see it because we are gonna do like an updated house tour. Yeah. sometime soon in the spring. Sorry, let's jump into the sales. Sorry, and let's talk about what we soiled. This, we soiled. Soiled. This week is the 18th through the 24th, like I said. And on the 18th, I actually did not have any sales. Do you want to know what? I had three. Well, go My off. first one was this pair of Lululemon Lab men's purple pants. I bought these at the outlet. They were $20 in like the clearance bin. Because that's kind of where I get everything at the outlet. It was like a plastic bin and it just said $20 mm. and I said I'll take these I never wore them um I sold them for 55 and I made $44 which means I doubled my money the way that and you, now I can get a new pair of jeans the way you said Lululemon reminded me of that Lulu shirt I have where the whole logo is like oh wavy. it's like wiggly. I feel like if you read it that's how it was Lulu <laughs> anyway that's really funny something else that sold from my own personal closet Collection. I was gonna say, excuse me. Is this Free People Maroon Peach Color Black Easy Street Tunic Sweater. I just didn't wear this one that much. I'm keeping the blue one and I sold the burgundy one and I'm keeping, there's like a foresty green one that I love. Yeah. That one I'm keeping. I just don't need eight of them. No. Like, that's too many. Wow, and I would love to like to branch that. out and get some other sweaters that aren't the same thing. A rebrand? Yeah, exactly. We are kind of <laughs> like, it's like when people say like new house, new baby. It's like new house, new, completely different wardrobe for me. It's funny great. when I looked down and you said for my own personal collection and I literally thought it was a bandeau top. And I was like, really, Ryan? Can you I don't, I don't recall I you wearing that I sit down in one of those like black spaghetti, lace free or not spaghetti strap. Yeah, like intimately like little bralettes and be like, it fits like a glove. Yay. Okay, the last one on the 18th is not from my own personal collection. It was this pair of Anthropology and Seychelles yellow leather bow detailed slides. That was one of my high school speech warm-ups. I know. I red, leather, said, leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Anyway. <laughs> So for $35, a full price, a wonderful little sale, and I make 28 On the 19th, my sales picked up from zero, and I had five sales. I had three. My first sale was really good, so that was a nice pick-me-up on Sunday morning. It was this Christy Dawn Emerson Floral Cotton Puff Sleeve Dress. Quite trendy with the puff sleeves, and this one was really, really pretty. I actually had two of these at one point, and both sold very quickly. Oh, sold for $261, nice. and I get $205.82, and I just miss the Christy Dawn partner boxes from thread up you can still do them but they work totally different and they're not as fun anymore so. no they're not as fun <laughs> then i sold this kavu peacock for keeps cross body bag <laughs> peacock, peacock for, for keeps. keeps i found this and had it in a vent hall and it was a little bit dirty and whatever and i said this will still sell mark my words they always do sure enough sold for 22 i get 14.62 then i sold this free people thermal oversized off shoulder sweater this was actually doing really good i think this is cute. just one of those like staple free people pieces that people like was it the high sweater side? Top? i cannot believe i said free people pieces without like totally fumbling <laughs> Sold for 20, I get 16. Then I sold a vintage Y2K 90s button black punk leather jacket. <laughs> I went to the bins one day on my own and I found like four leather jackets and that's almost all I got that day. That was they not sell all really film. well. And yeah, this one sold within a couple days for 43 and I get 31, 42, so I all seasons. I love the leather jackets. And last on the 19th, I saw this Obermeyer Kate 1 4th Zip Snowflake Graphic Sweater. Wasn't this your like little premonition sold sweater? Sold for 40, I get 32. Yeah, this is the one where I like saw it and I was like, I hope that's an Obermeyer and it probably is. And sure enough, I pick it up and I'm like, yep. That's weird. Over my shoulder. I'm going to be completely honest. That's freaky. That's I want to just like Freaky Friday. I want to like perfect that skill where I literally don't even have to look at labels that you close. You just this and this, and, and I this just like and am looking in the bin and throwing things over my shoulder, and people are just like, like watching me. Like my first on the nineteenth was a very good sale. I was very proud of myself for this. This was a Sikasept black twist front McKenna 
little top for the girlies. I found this in a turnstile on Mega Clearance for $10, and I sold it for $150, and I make $120, which is wonderful. <laughs> then I sold this men's patterned down to the wire button down shirt. This was funny enough on the floor in the bins, and it was like brand freaking spanking oh, that's new. Right. Had the crispy little large tag in it, literally never been worn. It was amazing. That was like the last time you went there. Yeah, like forever ago, like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, like four years literally. ago. Literally. It feels like an eternity. Back when Doesn't I it? turned Doesn't 22. Agree, I mean, <laughs> Sold for $32, and I will make $25.60. And then my last on the 19th was this Allison Olivia navy blue satin ruched dress. Sold for $35, and I make 28 Then on the 20th, I had six... Uno. My first sale was a very Ryan sale. It was this Ugh. vintage Y2K Winter Circle Dale Earnhardt tank top. This sold for $32. And I get $22.62, so that is great. Then, very me sale. Are yeah, we this is very you. I sold this pair of Athleta Floral Graphic Side Stripe High Waisted Leggings for $29, and I get $23.20. Then I sold this Anthropology Tiny Printed Sleeve Top. And I've had this forever. Mm-hmm. Like forever, you but it finally sold out. for twenty seven, like eighteen sixty two, and I was kind of nervous. Like when you've had something so long, you're like, did I at any point consign that? Like, is this, is this a me was problem? that pulled at some point or just like lost? But I found it and I shipped it, so we're good. Good. <laughs> then a great sale. This was my best sale of the week, and these were absolutely stunning. Of course they were. <laughs> Valentino V logo plaque decal leather kitten pumps. So Were these the ones with the, the black new, like, V leather the thing on The new it? Valentino so logo, the like oval with the V. Well, it's not the new logo, but it's like it's, a belt buckle. they're newly putting that on stuff. Mm -hmm. oh. It's beautiful. Sold for $500 and I get $400. It's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. But then, keeping that flame of flickering, I sold this Gucci pair of strappy pearl spike B embellished sandals. And I sold them for $300 and I get 240 so that is also fantastic. <sighs> then I sold this, I, another anthropies I've had for like three years. It's very like sell all my expensive shoes and then sell all my old anthropology. Yeah. Anthropology boho baby doll romantic tunic mini dress. Sold for 35, I get 25.02. I thought when I found this that this would sell so fast because back in the day, this would have been one of those anthropies that would do good because it was I just know. like so It was adorable. Boho and cute. Nope, took years. Then, that's it for my 20th. <laughs> my 20th, my one little one on the 20th, Lululemon, Lululemon, excuse me, Slow Eye White Mesh Back Sports Bra, sold for $13, I made 10.05. On the 21st, I did not have any. I had one. My one and only on the 21st was this Urban Outfitters BDG Paisley Velour Bomber Trucker Jacket Style. I don't, it wasn't a jean jacket, but it was like, a bit like a jean jacket. Anyway, sold for $50, my full asking price. It was a beautiful guest buyer. Congrats. I just, just, mm. Letter, number, 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 letter, letter, letter. Purchase your item. Thank A, you. A, E, B, 3, C, C, F, G. It's wonderful. But I will make 40, and that is it for my 21st. On the 22nd, I had four. I had three. And we're starting off with probably one of my favorite bundles I've ever sold because oh, yeah. so my taste. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. it's a viewer. And I think she also is a Valentine as well. And that is Amanda. She checks a lot of boxes. That is Amanda. Amanda. So hello, Amanda. And thank you so much. And your taste is impeccable. She purchased Absolutely the is. Mod Cloth oh. Halloween Rare Cat and Witch Fair Isle Cardigan, along with the Mod Cloth Halloween Pumpkin Jack-O-Lantern Fair Isle Pullover Sweater. And she even put the cherry on top. She got the vintage tacky 80s Halloween graphic embellished sweater vest. Oh, Amanda. Amanda. You don't understand Amanda, what a toe pulled that sweater Amanda. vest had on Jack when you first brought it home. <laughs> so these all sold to her for $125 and I get 100 Thank you so, so much, Amanda. And I hope that you love them. Then I sold this Express Satin Shawl Collar Open Boyfriend Blazer. This sold for $35 and I get $25.02. Rarely do I list Express. Like, so rarely. Every, every now and again. It has you to get be from, one. like, last year. And it has to be, like, so cute. But yeah. that was. Another one I don't sell often, Loft Blue Open Knit Sweater Blazer. It just reminded me of the J Crew ones that do so, so good. Mm -hmm. Plus it was new with tags. So I was like, 
Sure. Sure enough, it sold for 31. I get 2182, so that's great for law. And last on the 22nd, I sold this pair of Levi's Original 501 Classic Wash Jean Shorts for 25, and I get 20. Perfect. My first on the 22nd, I thought I only had one. I had three, <laughs> thankfully. Was this Urban Outfitters out from under lavender little open front cozy cardigan hoodie thing? Sold for $18, <laughs> and I make 40, 14, 40, excuse me. Then I sold this lovely little bundle of this Jansport gray vintage 90s veil graphic sweatshirt and this vintage. 90s hippie grunge patchwork tote bag sold for $35 and I will make $28. And my last on the 22nd is a very good instance of I knew they would make money when I bought them, but I personally, me singularly as a human being, thought they were tech. <laughs> this Z Gallery Avignon champagne quilted, like metallic king sized pillow sham. These things were huge and I found two of them in the bins. They each had a tag Z -Gallery on them. Is Bones. They each had a tag on them for $90, and I sold the pair for $75, which I don't think is that bad for a couple of pillow shames from the bins. Um, I will make 60 which is quite nice. To each their own. I'm yeah. sure some people would view some of our taste as tacky. I will 100% give and you that. And ridiculous. <laughs> on the 23rd, I had seven. I had three. My first sale was this pair of Levi's 501 Lucky number three. medium wash slim high rise jeans. Sold for 44 I get 32 22 Still seeing a bunch of jeans sell. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because literally we will never leave winter I or know. what the dealio is, but we're going to go all of March without even touching 50 degrees here. I feel like... And that has not happened in... Ever. Years. Literally. On average, in March 3rd, on average, is our first 50 degree day. And, and the it has first not day of April is supposed to be 70. So and I really don't think it's going to be 70. <laughs> and that kind of kills me. But I feel like just like looking at me as a customer, I feel like I've been looking at jeans a lot more. Like, I feel like I've definitely been like buying new pairs of jeans. And I feel like I've Or just been, like trying to at least like find some. And I feel like I've been looking at flowers to put in my house and tell myself that it's spring. <laughs> Next up. To Abigail. Abigail, Abigail popped into my closet. She also just recently purchased from me like two weeks ago. Oh, she got some cute stuff. And she purchased this Anthropology Cross Open Back Knit Sweater and this Coach Y2K Vintage Leather Top Handle Bag that was just in the haul this last week. Knew that would sell quick and Abigail was like, please list it so I can snatch it right away. This and even listing it for her, it already got like two or three likes. So luckily Abigail popped in there though. This all sold to her for 80 and I get 16102 so thank you very much, Abigail. Then I sold this Club Monaco Cashmere Mint Sage Hoodie Sweater. This was probably like the cutest Club Monaco I've ever seen. Kind of like Express. Every now and again, they have a cute one that's like not consignment store worthy. Yes. <laughs> and this one was actually on Shopbop, which hmm. shocked me. But it's a really cute model picture. It sold for 40 and I get 32. I do like a Shopbop model picture. Then I sold this cute. Banana Republic Rose Mist Cutaway Blazer. I don't rose. know what the cutaway meant. Rosettes. Was, <laughs> it's just rose colors. Rosettes. <laughs> Sold for 28, I get 22, 40. Then I sold this Anthropology Lilka Shorebird Embroidered Open Swim Cover. Oh, this this sold for 20, I get 16. I also had just got that. And then Allie popped into my closet mm, and Allie funny. purchased some pillow shams from me. And hers are very cute. Okay, good. She got this Pottery Barn 2022 Knit Thick Large Strap Pillowcase. Love. Along with this Pottery Barn Textured Slubbed Cotton Pillowcase. And this Airy Offline Oversized Shacket Flannel, which was so nice. And it's actually, like, really high quality for being Airy. Airy is, like, high-key growing on me as, like, a really good bread butter brand. Yes. Like, if the leggings new, do really good. Yes, like that's newer. the contingent, though, is if it's, like, two years older or newer. The sweaters do good. That little mommy blogger the moment you had. Do. Mm -hmm. So she got this bundle for 80 and I get 64 so thank you very much to Allie and then I sold this bundle of Henry Bendel. Henry Bendel. Henry Bendel. I sold two pieces. One was a leather flap fold over clutch and one was a Barbie pink leather clutch. These sold for 50 and I get 37.02. I did have them each priced at 50 but Henry Bendel is like <sighs> Honestly, kind of tricky to sell. I think people want interesting. The, like more substantial, like the bigger handbags. Maybe not some of the smaller Maybe. stuff. Maybe, yeah. And that was it for my twenty third. My first on the twenty third was this Urban Outfitters BDG black suede and knee high boots. These sold for twenty seven dollars, and I make twenty one sixty. And then ugly bolo alert. Lee oh, yeah. Anderson. Oh, she's Lord. She's like, besides Magnolia Pearl, she's like the queen of Lag and Look. It's Wolfstown. 
It's pretty bad. Leg and look, art to wear, rosette, silk, floral, little evening gown thing. I literally could not think of a name for this jacket because it was kind of confusing. I listed it at I think 150 or 160 and she sent me a $100 offer. And then she sent me this like really cute little granny message of just like, hey Ryan, like love it. I hope she has like really weirdly punk names for her like stuff. Like this is called the like terrorizer jacket. I she had like <laughs> she, I tried to find like, so. a description of this on her website, and because she's I, that woman, I she only like she, makes like a half of everything. But I that feel she like makes. they do have weird names, if I remember. Because I've had her like once or twice, and it was like really like it was called like um, something. One like, of my favorites, though, the Punisher. <laughs> one of my favorites was as I was kind of perusing the Miss Lee Anderson <clears throat> website. One of her colors she uses a lot is just called Swamp. Oh, that was the other so thing. So it's I was like doing. the petunia yeah. pant in swamp. <laughs> like, ooh, <laughs> that's pretty bad. The one that really oh, tickled my like... fancy was like it was this jacket called the like the effortless evening in swamp. Do you like my <laughs> swamp cardigan? What is this? Oh, oh these are my swamp jeans. They're sw swamp jeans. Just yelling that. Yelling it across the bar. Anyway, I will make 80. This a is... very good Vince find because it literally weighed nothing because it was silk. And then my last on the 23rd, which is my last for the week, I did not have any on the 24th, was this new tag, Universal Standard, Maryland, which is my grandmother's name, dark denim bomber jacket, which is very fitting for Meryl because <laughs> she is, I call her Meryl. She always wears like a little jean jacket everywhere we go. She has a little like something to put over. Uh, so for $60, I make 48 so on the 24th, Ryan didn't have any, which is really odd because I had nine. Dang. And it was honestly a pretty good sales day. So starting off, this one wasn't super high, but I am very happy to get it out. Mm -hmm. North Face Down Long Knee Length Puffer Coat. I just hate storing these things. So I got this thinking it was like perfect condition. And then of course those pesky dang studio lights <laughs> shine on it and you're like, Oh, Ooh. there's discoloration here, 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 there, here. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, there was a couple discolored spots. So this sold for 25, I get 20. Even if it was in great shape, I would Somebody can still have marked it lower, probably like 50, maybe 60, because mm -hmm. I just cannot handle storing those. For they are long. pain in the butt. Then Ariel, we love Ariel. I love household. Ariel. She's, she's so, so sweet. sweet. We talk all the time on Instagram. She's so sweet. Ariel popped into my closet and she purchased this Lululemon City Adventurer backpack and it's a micro size and people put them on their dogs. It's literally, like, if Mike wasn't, like... It's like the dog backpack. It kind it's, of is. Well, all the pictures. Like, so many people have posted pictures of them on their dog. This is actually from my own personal collection, but, like, I just found that I didn't really use it enough. And, and Mike is like, unfortunately too big to wear it as a backpack, yeah. which sucks. So it sold to her for 71 I get 53 so thank you so, so much, Ariel. Also, you're an icon. She's so sweet. Then I sold this Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Uh, Ariana, Ariana, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande Positions Graphic Concert t-shirt sold for 31 and i get 21.82 it was taylor swift have you heard what some of her vintage oh, merchandise I, yeah. is going yes. for yes yeah then i sold this lululemon dry sense soft athletic long sleeve top for 30 and i get 24 and weirdly enough this was sold on farfetch every now and again i feel like i've seen a men's lululemon piece on farfetch that and i really, really don't understand odd. why then I sold this vintage Y2K pleated goth dark academia <laughs> skirt, sold for 22 and I get 1760. And now this next one. This is a genuinely like deserves an eye roll. <laughs> hold on to your butts, hold on to your dogs, hold on to your fingers and your toes and your bells and your whistles. The screen Eminem, what are we getting ourselves into? <sighs> Deep breath, everybody. What this did you sound? this when I saw this notification come through, I was like. <laughs> oh, so Lord. I sold. Oh, this God. vintage horse equestrian tapestry fringe blanket coat. These are so popular. This thing, I like don't even want to reveal the price yet. Everybody, we're giving you like the Jeopardy like countdown. Please guess what this sold for. No, going to my Poshmark wasn't cheese. Cheating. Go crazy. Like think an absurd I amount of money for this. I found thing. this at Savers. It was like five ninety nine, <laughs> because I think they just thought it was some weird like jacket souvenir. Uh, it was pilly, but like really easy to sweater shave because it's a blanket. <laughs> and it sold. I also considered not buying it because I was just like, Meh, it's pilly and like. Meh. If you would have not bought this <laughs> and you would have like sent me a picture, I would have smacked you. This sold. 
for two hundred and fifty dollars. Can you imagine this is I, the price of a pair of Valentino shoes? I am even gonna give that like a. <laughs> can I like roll? I mean, I get it. And I get two hundred, and that was my full asking price. Like the what? The um. Who? Anyways, the where? So that's the summary of my week. Horse girls. <laughs> then horses. Th I sold. This was a great sale too. I sold mm -hmm. this Brahmin blue croc embossed leather satchel for one hundred and forty. I get one hundred and twelve. I've had this for. I've had someone. this for a hot minute. I also just recently relisted it. But I'm pretty sure this is the original listing. And I feel like that does happen sometimes. Which Every makes now and again. no sense. Yeah, which is kind of weird. Then I sold this Free People Oversized Knit Swing Tunic Sweater Vest for 25 and I get 20 And the last for my week, this, this kind of breaks my heart. And this should have sold for 250 instead of the blanket cardigan. Anna Sui Silk Constellation Celestial Dress. <sighs> I love, I love this. I so, love so, 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 so much. And I've had this... For I kid you not, like four or five years. She's, with, like, she's moved with us. Miss Anna Sui has followed us from yes. home to home. She lived for probably at least a year in our apartment, yes, she which did. is sad. Yes, she did. And I had this listed at like 300. It retailed for like seven, but somebody offered me 100 last night, late last night, and I was like, you know what? This thing needs Off. to be worn yes, and used and not stored. I am just going to take 100. Mm -hmm. I don't think I lost money because I probably paid like 35 so I get 80 but still, I'm just like, fine. The dream of selling Goodbye, this for 400 or whatever friend. is gone. That's fine. It has That's a okay. new home. Anyways, let's move on to gross and that. No so, no. my gross for this week was 2,561. Mine was 725, which is good considering that I is really... great for you on Posh lately. 3, right. 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. 14 sales and I made almost $800. And my... <laughs> was 2048 wasn't that a game yeah like an app. you would like swipe it oh mm -hmm. my gosh i used to love that that my inner old person is showing i remember back in middle school when i played 2048 on my iphone 4 i brought up ed ed Nettie, the like really famous cartoon Network <sighs> cartoon the other day because the kid always wears a beanie and this girl pointed out she's like you always have a hat on and i was like yeah he's just like double d from ed ed Nettie. and this girl looked at me like i was talking complete gibberish and i was like do you know what ed ed Nettie is and she goes is that one of those old people cartoons <laughs> and me Somebody at the mall, like... Yeah, some dad. Pointed like, at my first big cowardly dog t-shirt, and he called it, what he, he's like, that's genius. That was, was funny. Like, that was really funny. You. And you're like, thanks, da <laughs> thanks, thanks, dad. Thanks, dad. Thanks, dad. Thanks, dad. Okay, so I saw net 2048 and 80 cents. I can't forget about that. Thank you. Three quarters and a nickel. Thank you, yeah. My yeah. net was $580, which is wonderful. Anyways... That is all that we have for you guys today. We <sighs> are going to kind of like cut it right I know, we now. We got to get going. We, we got some get, fun stuff to do today. We got to get moving and grooving. We're going to be, us to edit us. We're gonna be <laughs> up in Minneapolis, Minneapolis today. And yeah, we're going to go to a cider place, like a hard cider. Yeah. It's and called, they get good teacher discounts. Yes. They love teachers. Me too. I do want to thank one more time a and B Thrifting. This was so freaking sweet and we appreciate you so much. And please, I've searched Tosh Instagram. Make yourself everywhere. known, Mr. Google. Mr. Human. I've been trying to find Please, you and Google. your like links. LinkedIn, yellow pages. <laughs> just leave your LinkedIn below and I will put it in the description. We just no. put a banner outside but on a, on a buy plane. Maybe I should like search eBay after this too, but please, yeah. please, please, please. A and B thrifting. Let me know what your usernames are and stuff. I do want to link you below. <laughs> we want to know who you are. Yes. And of course, Tori is also linked below yes. too. So thank you guys all for watching. And we will see you guys on Tuesday for the Bolo Dresses. Yes, we will. Goodbye. Goodbye.